Hey guys, what is going on? It's Spider X Anime here, and I'm going to be doing a live reaction to the top 10 worst Naruto games. Um, seeing that Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 is coming right out of the gate, it's about to be coming up really soon. We're on January 27th, we're almost there to January 9th, where I'm able to get the game and my phone just went off. That is really weird. But anyways, besides that point, um, I hope you guys really like this reaction that I'm doing and what you guys have done me in the comment section below. What is your worst Naruto game that you've ever played in your life? My worst Naruto game that I've ever played in my life is probably Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles. It's probably the worst one I've played before um, any Storm game. Well, not before any Storm game. I was just making it seem like every Storm game they come out with is kind of bad. But every Storm game is good. Every Storm game is good. Um, I like every Storm game that they come out with. But Naruto Uzumaki Chronicles is really good. So it's really bad. What the heck am I saying? It's really bad. So, anyways, let's just dive right into this while I just keep on blabbering, so. Sounds like you guys want me to show you some bad Naruto games. Challenge accepted. This is Gulp Kawik TGN, and this is our list of the top 10 worst Naruto games ever made. After going through the best Naruto games list, it's time to turn things around and look at the worst. Not all of these games are terrible, the first games that I mention are... Meh. They're not horrible, they're, it's just, there are better options if you want to play those kinds of games. There's but they're from the definitely not good, bad. mediocre at best. But I've rambled for long enough, here's our list, beginning with number 10. Naruto Path of the Ninja is a traditional JRPG with a turn-based battle YouTube. system. It follows YouTube the plot up to the bad. end of the Shunin Exam arc. Like many other games of this genre, it has a hub world, party management, leveling up, boss fights, and tons of filler content. It has some depth with the different characters you can pair up and align for different bonuses, but otherwise, it's just a very run-of-the-mill RPG that follows the Naruto canon. There are better ways to experience the Naruto story and way better JRPGs out there. Naruto Ninja Destiny was a handheld alternative to the Clash of Ninja series. It had a story mode, taking you from the Shunin exam to the legendary Sonin arc. The whole thing was extremely short, only 10 battles, you could beat it in less than an hour. The value after that was simply going into battle mode or wireless battle mode to fight against the computer or a friend. It lacked the polish and depth that the Clash of Ninja games had, overall not a great alternative to that series. From our previous video, it sounds like some people actually like Ninja, Ninja Council, so I don't want to bash it too hard because I don't want to hurt your feelings, but sometimes nostalgia paired up with the franchise that we love makes us see games in a different light. Naruto Ninja Council is a side-scroller brawler for the Game Boy Advance. You go through a series of levels, each one with a boss fight at the end. The thing is, you have to play through the same environment twice, only with a different boss fight at the end, it's over so and over. And even though these bosses have different abilities, the strategies for taking them down only vary a little. The platforming in this game is just not good enough, and it becomes an oversimplified brawler that you kind of drag yourself through. The second Ninja Council improved a lot, but the first one just wasn't that good. I'm sorry. Naruto Konoha Ninpo Chu came out only in Japan for the Wonder Swan Color. If never you're wondering why you've never heard of this handheld console, it's because it never made it to the Western market. This was the ah. first and last Naruto game released for this platform, and it's ah. also an RPG with a turn-based battle system. This game literally bad, adds game nothing itself. new to gaming. Bad, yeah. It's very oh. linear, the battle system like has little to game. no depth, there's no good reason for playing it other than you accidentally bought a Wonderswan color and now you feel like you have to buy games to justify that purchase. <laughs> Here's another side-scrolling brawler. You know, Ninja Council gets some credit because it was working with limited technology, but Naruto Shippuden 3D The New Era runs on the Nintendo 3DS. I never knew it had no like right that. being worse than the Game Boy game. Generic platforming sections, horrible combat mechanics. Seriously, Naruto has one combo, bad, which is this punch-kick combination right. that you do over and over. And while some boss fights have interesting mechanics, the way this game plays, it's just terrible, so even the boss fights end up being not that fun. Clash of Ninja Revolution 3 was on our top 5 list of the best Naruto games, but this series wasn't always good, and I think the one that pissed off players the most was definitely Revolution 2. You see, the combat in Clash of Ninja wasn't always as polished and balanced as we know it now. It was clunky and sometimes unresponsive, and some characters was just plain broken. It got better over time, they released uh, Gekuto Ninja Tyson 3 on Japan, which was ported to the Wii as the first Clash of Ninja Revolution. So. 
When they announced Revolution 2, we all just assumed they were gonna port Gekuto Ninja Tyson 4, right? That's not unrealistic to think of. Well, because the anime series in Japan was far ahead of the dubbed version in the US, Tomy decided to scrap its story mode and replace it with the most generic and basic filler one could possibly think of. Toki, what are you doing? I wanna eat some meat. Huh? And you think it doesn't look that bad, but... I haven't yet actually the game, so I don't really know. To top it off, this game was gonna really have online multiplayer, is, a plan that the developer game, decided so. to scrap in favor of fleshing out the story, so you can imagine how offended we were. Somehow, they made the game control worse this than the first Revolution no game, and it, it was an hungry. overall mess. Avoid yeah, this Naruto, one, that, sure. That makes no sense. Do you know what would go really well with Naruto? A turn-based strategy game that. style said no one ever. Konoha Senki is one of the most basic, shallow and simple strategy games I've ever played and it just doesn't fit the franchise at all. And the platform is no excuse. Two years before this game came out, one of my favorite turn-based strategy games ever made was released for the Game Boy Advance and it was called Advance Wars. The Naruto characters and fighting style simply weren't made for this kind of game, or at least not the way Konoha Senki does it. I'm sorry. Before you grab my neck and strangle me to death, let me just say that Uzumaki Chronicles yeah! 2 did a much better job than the list. bad game at all. The first list. Uzumaki Chronicles very much deserves to be on this list. It, it is an extremely shallow 3D it's brawler. So it has bad. a handful of combos and a very small roster, making that this game, game so very bad. repetitive. You fight the same enemies over you and over. The They'll interrupt you on your way to missions, becoming even more annoying. And once again, the whole plot is complete garbage filler. Hold on a minute. Let me carry the Tama Saburo. Oh yeah, I remember this part. It's okay. Part. It's part of my mission to carry this part. I remember this part. I had to fight Toji. I had to fight Obi. To you, you I had to fight Toji because Just Toji wanted to freaking eat it. The Toji wanted to eat it. Tama Saburo is mine! Give it to me! What is it with Choji and terrible Naruto plots? In addition to like, all that, because the double version of the anime was behind the original thing. version I in Japan, beat, the presence of Itachi, Oto, Isame, and Tsunade Choji. were wiped clean no, no, off in the English Choji version of the game. Take all I said about Uzumaki Chronicles and make it 10 times worse. That's Dragon Blade Chronicles for you. First of all, it's a hack and slash adventure because, well, as Dragon we Blade know, Chronicles. Naruto mainly fights with like weapon, right? Episode of it. And then all there is to the combat is performing the same combo over and over and doing Rasengan's once in a while. It's complete garbage. The plot feels like it was taken from a completely different game and somehow stuffed into Naruto because it really doesn't feel like anything like the anime. Even fillers had better stories. Again, there's some boss fights that could be interesting, but game's mechanics just make the whole thing very dull. I mean, this game takes the award for the most Ew. crazy ridiculous idea anyone could like ever have game? to make a Naruto game. Naruto Shinobi no Sato Jin Tori Kasen is a board game. The easiest it's way for me to explain game? how this game works to you is by comparing it to Monopoly. It's like Mario Kart, Dice, yeah, or whatever Monopoly. that is. You land Probably somewhere you and you can buy that territory for yourself, so if your opponent lands on it, it's taking damage. Now, I can appreciate tabletop and party games inspired on board games for their value in a party scenario. I spent countless nights like playing these games with my friends, but a single version of Monopoly isn't exactly the first thing that comes to mind when I say I want to play Naruto. Unlike some of the previous games, I can't even get mad at this one. It just makes me laugh every time I see it. Well, that's our list. Now I'd like to ask you guys, what's the worst Naruto game you have ever played? Like Let me know in the comments. I like love Chronicles hearing stories of too. pain and sorrow. And hey, if you don't agree with any of my choices for this list, that's totally fine. Uh, be the knight in shining armor coming out to protect this game that you love. Just, you know, personally, I don't want to play any of these games ever again. If you enjoyed the video, click that like button, it helps us out a lot. And if you want to reach me directly, you can do so on Twitter at magical underscore new. I've been Glovekill. Take care, guys. See you next time. Wait. Alright, so the games he was explaining was indeed on point. I did not like most of the Naruto games that were coming out back then, like Uzumaki Chronicles, Dragon Blade Chronicles, or or Naruto Ninja Council or any of those other games like he said I did not like any of those games seeing that some of those games were probably before my time probably like in the middle of my time when I was born or whatever I still didn't like the the graphics I didn't like the function of it I didn't like the characters I didn't like the plots like it was the game that they made back then or like in my time it was just really ridiculous and didn't have anything to do with Naruto didn't have anything to do with the actual plot some of them did but some of them were actually bad to the plot so 
I didn't like it at all. But anyways, tell me in the comment section below what is your worst Naruto game of all time. And also let me know what you guys expect to be a reboot. Like if you guys expected, like if you guys saw a worse Naruto game, you guys think it could be better? Do you guys think they should reboot it and try to make it better? Or do you guys think they should just keep it as it is and just leave it in the ground? So anyway, my name is Officer Spider-X Anime and I will see you guys later. It's more, I'll be your